Hello and welcome to this quick update video for the Flip Fluids add-on version 174. In previous versions we found that the simulation continues even if there's no liquid at all in the domain box. This version introduced an optimization that now speeds up the simulation when no liquid is present. Anyone who uses our CMD tools may have occasionally encountered the problem of forgetting to save current changes in the scene, and this results in unexpected results. To prevent this from happening in the future, our add-on now automatically saves the current file as soon as you execute a CMD operation. Simulate and render. Yes, that is now also possible. Depending on what kind of system you use, this new feature allows you to create a quick preview during baking or to have the result immediately available in full resolution. This simply depends on how you have configured your output settings. And you can choose how many frames are allowed to be rendered at the same time. But keep in mind that simulating and rendering at the same time will be extremely demanding on your workstation as all available resources will be used. Another clever new feature is the ability to execute objects from the simulation via the outliner. We have considered that objects that are invisible to the viewport can also be invisible to the simulator. So if you switch off the viewport visibility of an object in the outliner, then the simulator will not pay any attention to it. We have now expanded Blender's render menu to include our CMD operators. This makes it more convenient for hotkey enthusiasts to start CMD-based baking and rendering at the touch of a button. You can see which keys these are by looking at the render menu. Okay, that was all with this new Flip Fluids add-on update. Thank you for watching and goodbye.